This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 28 of Bath Tutorial. I just want to start out by showing you um, just one of the little preview things I was doing on a different file. But uh, this is just pretty much what the bathroom will look like when it's semi textured. We still have, it's still the base mesh we've been working on, but I just added a few textures in. Um, however, the viewport shaders don't have global illumination in it, so we can't get everything. But that's generally what it will look like. So, decided I'd show that to you. Um, Alright, let's open up our other scene. Alright, so to start off, we're going to position the shower pole in here. Or the, um, not shower pole, but whatever you call it. Shower curtain rod. And it is, I believe, I'm not sure if I said this in the last tutorial, but let's see. Two inches in diameter. So an inch radius. And that's looking pretty good. Sort of just sit it situate it uh, right above the shower head and then just bring it over. I didn't really measure it because there's no real reason. Just make sure it's on the left hand side of the tub. Alright, to uh, begin, we're going to start modeling the final towel rod, because there are two of them. Um, oops. Hide selection. Make a box. And just make one like so. Convert to editable poly. Select the outside polygon there and so should bring this out. Extrude and just give it a few extrusions. Next let select what you have here and just start scaling them down. Follow either the top or the bottom of this image. You don't have to follow both. It should be symmetrical. But I apparently wasn't in the proper position when I took the picture. So continue scaling these down and we'll just bring this one out the rest of the way. We're going to add a mesh smooth to it anyway. I'm just going to perspective for a second to try to give it the uh, correct height. Let me pull up another image over here. All right. Next, what we're going to want to do is go in the top viewport and select these verts and just scale them in and start scaling them a bit more. What we're trying to do is create a slightly indented face here. Bring these in. Alright, back to perspective. Uh, select all the edges that we have and loop. loop. Alright, and then um, that should be good for now. So chamfer. Give those quite a large chamfer. Next, select the back face. Select it, control click the edges actually, not the verts. Alright, and then chamfer that and give that a small chamfer and give it two segments just in case. Alright, um, next let's give this a mesh smooth. Big. Bring it up. Go back into perspective. 
perspective here and sink it in a little ways. We're actually going to reduce it a bit, say 30 to 30. Because we're trying to make a, a holder for the rest of a the shower bar thing. Rotate it 45 degrees. That's not bad. Next what we're going to do Convert that to edit to poly. Select all the edges and chamfer. Select all of them. Alright. And then convert this mesh smooth object to an actual one. And then let's see here. Sync this in about oops, a little over or a little less than halfway. Go back into perspective and convert. No, save first off. Um, compound objects, pavilion, start picking. And pick away your boolean face there. Convert to editable poly. Go to edges. The outside edges will already be selected. And just give those an ever so small chamfer two times. And then just go into this view here and check that you don't have any issues. And that's not bad. Next, give it a um, smooth modifier. Then auto smooth. And I'm just going to give this a quick render just to see what it looks like. And it shouldn't really matter when you have textures on it, but Next what we're going to do is go to the front viewport here and let me go get some measurements. Alright, so let's first start by making a box, making the height, or the length actually, 5. Scale this down to the similar size. See you next.